The Honeymooners is an American sitcom, based on a recurring 1951-55 sketch of the same name. It originally aired on the Dumont Network's Cavalcade of Stars and subsequently on the CBS Network's The Jackie Gleason Show, which was filmed in front of a live audience. It debuted as a half-hour series on October 1, 1955 although initially a rating success, becoming the number two show in the United States during its first season. It faced stiff competition from the Perry Como show, and eventually dropped to number 19, ending its production after only 39 episodes. The final episode of The Honeymooners aired on September 22, 1956. Creator, producer Jackie Gleason revived The Honeymooners sporadically until 1978. The Honeymooners was one of the first U.S. television shows to portray working-class married couples in a gritty, non-idyllic manner. Cast and characters The majority of The Honeymooners focused on its four principal characters on fixed sets within a Brooklyn apartment building. Although various secondary characters made multiple appearances and occasional exterior shots were incorporated during editing, virtually all action and dialogue was on stage, inside the normal backdrop. Ralph Cramden played by Jackie Gleason, a bus driver for the fictional Gotham Bus Company. He is never seen driving a bus, but is often shown at the bus depot. Ralph is frustrated by his lack of success, and often develops get-rich-quick schemes. Ralph is very short-tempered, frequently resorting to bellowing, insults and hollow threats. Well hidden beneath the many layers of bluster, however, is a soft-hearted man who loves his wife and is devoted to his best pal, Ed Norton. Ralph enjoys bowling, playing pool and being a member in the Loyal Order of Raccoon Lodge. Ralph was given honorary membership in the Union for Real New York City bus drivers during the run of the show, and a Brooklyn bus depot was named in Gleason's honor after his death. Ralph Cramden is the inspiration for the animated character Fred Flintstone. Alice Cramden Alice, played in the first seven episodes by Pert Kelton and by Audrey Meadows throughout the classic 39, is Ralph's patient but sharp-tongued wife of roughly 15 years. She often finds herself bearing the brunt of Ralph's insults, which she returns with biting sarcasm. She is level-headed, in contrast to Ralph's pattern of inventing various schemes to enhance his wealth or his pride. In each case, she sees the current one's unworkability, but he becomes angry and ignores her advice. She has grown accustomed to his empty threats. One of these days... Pow, right in the kisser, or bang, zoom, straight to the moon, to which she usually replies, ah, shadip. She studied to be a secretary before her marriage, and works briefly in that capacity when Ralph is laid off. Wilma Flintstone is based on Alice Cramden. Another foil for Ralph is Alice's mother, who is even sharper-tongued than her daughter. She despises Ralph as a bad provider. Alice's father is occasionally mentioned but never seen. Alice's sister, Agnes, appeared in one episode. Ralph and Alice lived with her mother for six years after getting married before they got their own apartment. Ralph's mother is rarely mentioned, but appears in one episode. Ralph's father is only mentioned in one episode as having given Ralph a cornet he learned to play as a boy, and insists on keeping when Alice suggests to be thrown away. In a 1967 revival, Ralph refers to Alice being one of 12 children and her father never working. The Honeymooners was originally a sketch on the Dumont Network's Cavalcade of Stars, with the role of Alice played by Pert Xelton. When his contract with Dumont expired, Gleason moved to the CBS network where he had the Jackie Gleason show, and the role went to Audrey Meadows. Kelton had been blacklisted during the McCarthy hearings, affecting her career at the time. Edward Lily White, Ed Norton played by Art Carney, a New York City sewer worker and Ralph's best friend. He is considerably more good-natured than Ralph but nonetheless trades insults with him on a regular basis.
Ed often gets mixed up in Ralph's schemes, and his carefree and rather dim-witted nature usually results in raising Ralph's ire. While Ralph often showers him with verbal abuse and throws him out of the apartment when Ed irritates him. In most episodes, Ed is shown to be better read, better liked, more worldly and more even-tempered than Ralph. Despite his unassuming manner and the fact that he usually lets Ralph take the lead in their escapades, Ed and Ralph are both members of the fictional Raccoon Lodge. According to Entertainment Weekly he is one of the greatest sidekicks. Ed worked for the New York City sewer department and described his job as a sub-supervisor in the subdivision of the Department of Subterranean Sanitation. I just keep things moving along. He served in the U.S. Navy and used his G.I. Bill money to pay for typing school, but felt he was unable to work in an office as he hated working in confined spaces. The relatively few scenes set in the Norton apartment showed it to have the same layout as the Cramdens, but more nicely furnished. Though Norton makes the same weekly $62 salary as Ralph, their higher standard of living might be explained by Norton's freer use of credit. At one point he admits to having 19 charge accounts. Ed enjoys bowling and playing pool. Ed is the inspiration for Barney Rubble in the Flintstones. Ed Norton is also mentioned in one of the last episodes of Cheers, aired in 1993. In 1999, TV Guide ranked him 20th on its list of the 50 greatest TV characters of all time. Thelma, Trixie, Norton played by Joyce Randolph, Ed's wife in Alice's best friend. She did not appear on every episode and had a less developed character, though she is shown to be bossy towards her husband. In one episode she is depicted as a pool hustler. On another episode, Ralph insults Trixie by making a reference to Minsky's. There are a few references to Trixie's burlesque background in the Lost episodes. Randolph played Trixie as an ordinary, rather prudish, housewife, complaining to her husband on one occasion when a fresh, young store clerk called her Sweetie Pie. In a 1967 hour special Trixie resentfully denied Ralph's implications that she worked in burlesque, to which he replied, if the shoe fits. Take it off, Trixie is the inspiration for Betty Rubble in the Flintstones. Elaine Stritch was the first and original Trixie Norton in a Honeymooners sketch with Jackie Gleason, Art Carney, and Pert Selton. The character was originally a burlesque dancer, but the role was rewritten and recast after just one episode with the more wholesome-looking Joyce Randolph playing the character as an ordinary Housewife. Other some of the actors who appeared multiple times on the show include George O. Petrie and Frank Martha's various characters, Ethel Wade Hoen as Alice's mother, Zama Cunningham as Mrs. Manicotti, and Cliff Hall as the Raccoon Lodge president. Ronnie Burns, son of George Burns and Gracie Allen, made a guest appearance as Wallace on one episode. On another episode, Ed Norton makes a reference to a co-worker, Nat Birnbaum. George Burns's real name was Nathan Birnbaum. The apartment house the Cramdens and Nortons lived in an apartment house at 328 Chauncey Street in the Bensonhurst section of Brooklyn, New York. In the 1955 episode, A Woman's Work is Never Done, the address is referred to as 728 Chauncey Street. The landlord of the apartment house is Mr. Johnson. In the Honeymooners episodes taped from 1967 to 1970, the address of the Cramdens and Norton's apartment house changed to 358 Chauncey Street, and the number of the Cramden apartment is 3B. The actual 328 Chauncey Street is located in the Bedford-Stuyvesant section of the borough, approximately 8 miles northeast of the show's location. Apartment house residents Mr. and Mrs. Manicotti, an older couple who were of Italian descent, Tommy Manicotti, he played stickball and contracted the measles. He also left his water pistol in the Cramden's apartment. McGarity, 
He was tired of hearing Ralph practicing for the $99,000 answer quiz show. He accused Ralph of renting his tuxedo from an undertaker. He also loved Ralph's joke about sending a night out on a dog like this. McGarrity boy. He played stickball and contracted the measles. Mrs. Bennett needed her radiator fixed when Ralph was the janitor. Johnny Bennett. He played stickball, earned an apple for a home run and contracted the measles. Mrs. Doyle. Mother of Tommy Doyle. Tommy Doyle. He was arrested for spending a $100 counterfeit bill that Ralph gave him to take his suits to the cleaners. Mrs. Stevens. She gave Alice a box for hairpins that was made of matchsticks for Christmas which was the same exact gift Ralph was about to give her. She received a kitchen thermometer from Alice, Mrs. Olson. She said that Ralph broke her Venetian blinds instead of repairing them when Ralph was the janitor, Mrs. Hannah. Needed her bathtub fixed when Ralph was the janitor, Mrs. Folgerty accused Ralph of taking food out of her icebox when Ralph was the janitor. Mrs. Schwartz, the apartment house blabber mouth who reported that the Cramdens had set the all-time lowest gas bill for the building. She also was curious to know if the house phone was able to connect to New Jersey when Ralph was the janitor. Mr. Riley had a full garbage canak needed to be emptied when Ralph was the janitor. Judy Connors, a teenager who didn't want her father to meet Wallace her date. Tommy Mullins, a U.S. Navy service member who was home on leave for Christmas. Carlos Sanchez, a mambo dancer who works at night. Mr. and Mrs. August Gunther, were former residents of the Cramdens apartment. August hit it big with his donut business.